It was dubbed the convention to end all conventions, meant to shake the continent to the very core. We're talking about the highly anticipated Pan-African political event, which was scheduled for January 7, 2024, in Ghana, featuring prominent figures such as El Lumumba of Kenya, EF leader Jilio Sela Malamo of South Africa, former Nigerian presidential candidate Peter Obe, and former permanent representative of the African Union to the United States, Dr. Erikana Chumburi Kwao of Zimbabwe, was abruptly cancelled, sending shockwaves of criticism and disappointment across the continent. The convention drew a lot of attention because of its distinguished lineup of speakers, who were expected to address pressing issues in Africa and discuss strategies for pan-continental collaboration and progress. The abrupt cancellation of the event has left attendees, dignitaries, and observers wondering about the nature of the gathering and the reasons for the Ghanaian government's decision to halt its proceedings. As speculation and disappointment swirl, the lack of clarity about the circumstances surrounding the cancellation has raised concerns about the region's political discourse and freedom of assembly. The abrupt closure of this important political forum raises concerns about the dynamics and challenges of pan-African political initiatives, as well as their ability to operate freely within the political landscapes of individual African countries. And why are people criticizing the government of Ghana for the event's cancellation? In today's video, we will offer deep insight into these questions and more. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel so you never miss another video again. In a surprising turn of events, the convention's organizers, the New Africa Foundation, have announced the abrupt cancellation of the highly anticipated Pan-African event, which was scheduled to take place on January 7, 2024, at Ghana's Black Star Square. The last-minute release of a statement confirmed participants' disappointment and frustration as the gathering had garnered significant attention and was set to host esteemed speakers such as El Lumumba of Kenya, EF leader Chilio Selo Malamo of South Africa, former Nigerian presidential candidate Peter Obe, and Dr. Erikana Chumburi Kwa Zimbabwe, the former permanent representative of the African Union to the United States. The foundation expressed regret in a statement, informing the public that the Ghanaian government had decided to cancel the Pan-African event just a few hours before it was scheduled to begin at Independence Square in Okargana. The unexpected cancellation has raised eyebrows and sparked widespread speculation about the reasons for the government's decision, casting doubt on the perceived freedom of expression and assembly in Pan-African political discourse. The incident emphasizes the delicate balance between political initiatives aimed at continental cooperation and the potential constraints imposed by individual countries' regulatory frameworks. In response to the abrupt cancellation of the highly anticipated Pan-African event in Ghana, the New Africa Foundation expressed its understanding of the gathering's widespread anticipation and excitement. The foundation expressed its disappointment to supporters and emphasized that the unforeseen circumstances that led to the event's cancellation were beyond their control. The statement suggests a sense of helplessness on the part of the organizers, who had meticulously planned the politically charged event and received approval for it in November 2023. The event aimed to bring together influential thought leaders such as Professor P. Eld Olumumba, Peter Ubi, Julius Malama, and others to discuss critical issues affecting Africa's development. Furthermore, there was speculation that the convention would be used to reveal the leader of a new political movement, bringing dynamism to Ghana's political landscape through social media-driven campaigns advocating for issues such as mask wearing and youth inclusion. The cancellation raises concerns about the complexities and challenges of organizing politically significant events, particularly those involving prominent figures and potential political disclosures. The Foundation's acknowledgement that the situation was beyond their controls suggests that external pressures or regulatory interventions influenced the realization of this Pan-African initiative. As speculation grows, there is a greater need for transparency and a thorough understanding of the factors that led to the cancellation, which will shed light on the complex dynamics surrounding political events of continental significance. Despite being unregistered and fraught with controversy, the politically affiliated event had the potential to be significant because it capitalized on dissatisfaction with existing parties, particularly among young Ghanaians. 
and had become a focal point for sparking debates about alternative voices and approaches to shaping the country's future, emphasizing the importance of new perspectives in Ghanaian politics. The event's unconventional nature, combined with its appeal to youth participation, suggested a shift away from traditional political paradigms and a push for inclusivity in political discourse. Patrons, journalists, dignitaries, and the thousands of eager attendees present at the venue were all taken aback by the sudden cancellation announcement. The event promised to reveal a potential new leader as well as a transformative political agenda, exacerbating disappointment and frustration among those who had hoped to see the rise of alternative voices in Ghanaian politics. The unexpected turn of events adds to the controversy surrounding the event, raising deeper questions about the dynamics of political dissent, youth engagement, and the pursuit of alternative political narratives in Ghana. The unexpected cancellation perplexed everyone, with conflicting accounts and speculations emerging about the reasons for the last-minute decision to cancel the convention. Some sources claim that the gathering was halted by police and national security acting on government orders, while others believe that the absence of key speakers, particularly Dr. Erikana Shiamburi Kwa, contributed to the event's cancellation. The lack of clarity and contradictory narratives has fueled speculation and debate about the true motivations for the abrupt cancellation of an event that held great promise for Ghanaian political discourse. The Office of the President's DASPA Affairs Directorate provided an official explanation for the abrupt cancellation of Convention 2024, stating that the decision to revoke permission was influenced by the unexpected appearance of a state event scheduled to take place at the Black Star Square venue at the same time. While this explanation blames logistical issues, it raises the question of whether there were other factors influencing the decision, contributing to the widespread confusion and speculation about the circumstances leading up to the cancellation. The conflicting narratives highlight the importance of open communication in addressing the public and stakeholders' concerns about the unexpected turn of events. The Office of the President's DASPA Affairs Directorate also addressed the financial aspect of the cancellation, stating that the 10,000 Ghana Cetus paid by the organizers for the venue's use would be refunded. While this gesture was intended to mitigate financial losses, it fell short of alleviating the disappointment and skepticism felt by all interested parties. The announcement of the refund and apology for any inconvenience caused, while an official response, did little to clarify the underlying reasons for the abrupt cancellation, leaving a void of information that contributed to increased doubt and suspicion. Many individuals and groups are now raising valid concerns about the contradiction between the initial official approval granted by the Ghanaian government in November 2023 and the subsequent claim of an unforeseen state event that conflicts with the convention's schedule. The lack of a comprehensive and transparent explanation has heightened the sense of unease and skepticism surrounding the abrupt cancellation, emphasizing the importance of clear and detailed communication from authorities in maintaining public trust and answering lingering questions about the event. The presence of several armed military men and police officers stationed at the entrance to Black Star Square, preventing public entry, raised many eyebrows, with many questioning the need for such force in preventing a simple pan-African event from occurring. The convention's leaders organized a press conference at Cantonments. Professor P. Lulumbaba stated, We came to Ghana to share a message of hope that Africans need right now, and there is no better place to start that message than Accra, Ghana. Osaji Fukwim Nkrumah addressed the world nearly 67 years ago in Accra, stating that Ghana's independence is meaningless unless it is linked to the independence of the African continent. He went on to say that 67 years later, they were gathering in Accra at the exact spot where Ghana's founding fathers had stood to make their declaration, but they were abruptly stopped. Professor P. Lulambaba stated that the message will be delivered as the Union continues its journey of hope. The timing and nature of the convention's cancellation, as well as subsequent comments from event organizers and the presidential office, have led many to believe that Ghana's government, currently led by President Nanada Dankwa Kufado, is out to silence dissenting voices. Compromising Ghana's highly valued democratic values. It is worth noting that the event was also built as the platform for officially unveiling the face behind the rapidly growing opposition New Force movement. 
The fact that the entire event was abruptly cancelled reflects poorly on the government. Already, the spokeswoman for the New Force Movement, Belgian businesswoman Chalai Mabushi, has been arrested and re-arrested, and her residency permit has been revoked by the Ghana Immigration Service. Many see this as a thinly veiled attempt by the Akufa government to frustrate political opposition. Currently, there are conflicting narratives. The Guinean government claims that the convention was cancelled at the last minute due to a conflict with state events scheduled for the same time and location. On the other hand, while the event organizers acknowledged the cancellation in a statement, they did not back up the government's claim that the convention conflicted with state events scheduled to take place at the same location and time. Although there is a lot of confusion, the abrupt nature of the event cancellation, the anticipated unveiling of the face behind the new force movement at the convention, which never came to fruition, the presence of heavy security at the venue to stop people from entering, weak explanation from the government, and historical occurrences, such as the arrest of some of the new force's top brass, lends more credence to the speculation that the Canadian government is trying to your perspective matters. Do you think the Ghanaian government is guilty of deliberately suppressing free speech and freedom of association? To kill the opposition, share your insights and thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the new Africa channel. Stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.